anybody's imagination who's ever been in there. I, I can't wait to show it. I can't wait to, to display it, but it will not be a place that's freely walked in. It's sacred. It's hollow ground. It's now home. Yeah. And I don't let just any motherfucker in my house. No. So you guys enjoy from a view. If you're lucky enough to get on the podcast, can't wait to show you. But you guys are going to enjoy it from a view. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, once again, man, um, condolences. You know, I know this is kind of a little off, but just been watching the Kobe Bryant thing go down, man. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. And it'll probably reach an apex by the time the funeral thing. You know, I mean, whenever they do that sometime next week, you know, they have that, man. That 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 story, man, is just now you're starting to see, like, everything's starting to come out. You see the helicopter before. So you're reliving this. Then you see the clear pictures of the wreckage. And now we know they crashed to the side of the mountain. It's just like, man, it's just like, I, I just can't. That's probably one of the other reasons why I was feeling kind of like, you know, a little uneasy today. It's just like this process and that and just, you know, it's just like I don't get it. I don't understand, you know what I'm saying, why that had to happen. Like, I don't get it. How could I be in the plans? And I just don't understand it, man. It's crazy. Stare more accidents happen, but, you know. You stare mortality right in the face, man. Yeah. And it, it's still tough to process. It's still tough to understand. I've been looking at my daughter in particular just heavy the last couple of days she's four right. but she has the long hair she looks right. to me i'm seeing little Gigi and her and it's fucking me up because it's right. like man you all, all you could do is simply cherish the moments you could drive the speed limit you could mm -hmm. do everything you mm -hmm. have to do you could take every precaution not mm -hmm. be on your phone do everything right and something wrong out of your control could still happen and change so many lives we knew and we watched Kobe, and this is why this is affecting us, because we watched this dude from 16 when we were young grow up and make mistakes, grow up and, and, and reach the highest mountains, go to the depths of hell, come back out to be where he's at now, a, a man with four daughters, fathers just looking and admiring that and him being mm -hmm. even greater off the court that he is to die so tragically. To not even know him, it, it was absolutely heartbreaking. And like I said the last couple of times, we have lists of who we want to know on the podcast. And his name, I wrote his name. I was looking forward to it because no doubt in my mind, if we reached out to Kobe, he's from the Philly area. He knows right. the area. We was going right. to get Kobe in this joint. Yeah. And now that that's not going to happen. And f dealing with that reality on, on top of him not being here, one of my favorite basketball players, the second greatest basketball player I've ever seen play this game ever yeah. Yeah. of all time, probably the most exciting player I've ever seen, no longer here at such a young age, it, it makes me sick. Yeah. Shaq, somebody he played with. Los Angeles Lake, a legend. He obviously is feeling some kind of way, but it, it breaks my heart to hear Shaq, man. Oh, God, I want to play a minute of what Shaq said and get your thoughts. We up here, we work a lot. And I think a lot of times we, we, we take stuff for granted. Like, I don't talk to you guys as much as I, as much as I need to. The fact that uh, we're not going to be able to joke at his Hall of Fame ceremony. We're not going to be able to say, hi, I got five, you got four. The fact that we're not going to be able to say, if we would stay together, we could have got ten. Those are the things that you, you can't get back. And with the loss of my father, my sister, and my thing, that's the only and my thing, that's the only thing I wish I could just say something to him again. Last time I talked to him was when... We were here and I asked him to get 50 and he got 60. It's the last time I spoke to him. And I just wish I could have, you know, so it, it definitely changes me. I have to, because I work a lot. You, you, you guys know what I do. I, I, I work probably more than the average guy, but I just really have to now just take time and just call and say, I love you. Rick Fox call, finally called me and said, man, I love you. B. Shaw called me. So. I'm gonna try to do a better job of just reaching out and just talking to the people rather than always procrastinating because you never know. Life is too short. I never, I could never imagine nothing like this. I was thinking the other day, I've, I've never seen anything like this. All the basketball idols that I grew up, I see them, they're old. Like I used to be at home when you came to interview me, Ernie, I used to watch the great round, round, round of rebound. Now I'm working with them. I used to want to be Dr. J. He used to live next door to my mother in Orlando. My father used to tell me about the three great big men. I met them. I seen them. And the fact that uh, we lost probably the world's 
greatest Laker, world's greatest basketball player. It's just, I listen. People are gonna say, take your time and get better, but it's gonna be hard for me. I already don't sleep anyway, so. But I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. My condolence goes out to his family, his mom, his dad, his sisters, the other families, everybody involved. Laker organization. I talked to Jeannie and Linda, and uh, people here are hurting, especially in this organization. You know, some people have to get treatment, and some people just just don't understand because it hit all of us out of nowhere. I didn't want to believe it. I said to myself, I, I hope somebody, some butt face made this up and it's not true. I didn't want to believe it. And then after getting all the, com the, the calls and then you finally feel his concern, it just, it just, you know, my spirit just uh, left my body. I just wish I could be able to say one thing to the, one last thing to the people that we, we lost. Because, uh, you know, once you're gone, you're gone forever. And, you know, we should never take stuff like that uh, for granted. All right, those were words from yeah. Shaq. That sucked. I ain't going to lie to you. I remember yeah. them playing. Yeah, that. man. I remember them beating Sacramento. I remember them beating the Trailblazers to get to them finals. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember when they played uh, Allen Iverson. And yeah. we knew it wasn't a snowball chance in hell that fucking Lake, uh, the Sixers were going to beat the Lakers. <laughs> but they got that first game when they got through that step back. Yeah. Stepped over to Ron Lou. Yeah. <sighs> man, it, it sucks. Yeah, it's, it's horrible, man. And, you know, I like what he said about the brother thing. Facts. And a lot of people said a lot of disrespectful things. We're not going to get into those on this podcast. But um, they had a up-and-down relationship. You know, at one point, Kobe, we wanted to leave. You know what I mean? There, And, you know, we heard about them possibly fist fighting. But we grew up, you know what I mean, together. We fought all the time. Every other week. You know what I'm saying? But we the love was always there. Mm -hmm. And that's just the part of the process of being brothers. You see little kids out there. One minute, they had each other's throat. But the next minute, you know, most of the day they playing together, building together. So it, it hurts, man. Like, it, you know, we don't know him personally, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it's just like just to like you can't I can't I'm having a hard time process. That's why nobody can tell me like about like this this God thing, man. It's just it gets to the point where it's like I need to talk to somebody who really knows what they're talking about. Not just believing in something that they read from some unknown person. Like, because how do you like? you know, make sense of him having to go away like this and die so tragically. And not, you know, not only him, obviously his daughter and the other people as well. I don't want to see nobody go, go away like that. So, you know, um, Shaq, you can hear it in his voice. You can hear the hurt in his voice. He's getting over the loss of his sister. What he I heard him talk about that briefly earlier. And I, I was just sitting there early. I was just thinking it makes you, you know, reflect on things you went through in your personal life. And I like this is just a part of the process. Mm -hmm. Pain is a part of the process. Death mm -hmm. is just a part of this process here and life. Someday somebody will be mourning my death and I have to mourn people's death, you know, um, as we go. But, um, you know, that kind of is what it is. It sucks, but it's the reality. Yeah, man, it, it is the reality and it's tough to deal with and it's tough to cope with. But it is a, a part of life. You can sit back and. A lot of people, religious people or, or people who, who have certain faiths will go and say Kobe may have as tough as this is for people to digest, lived his full life. But then my question is, then why so tragically? And what about right. those three babies, the, the adults? OK, um, even though tragic, they lived a life to where they could see adulthood and, and, and pass on their seed to another generation and children, their babies. Right. So rationalize that to me. Right. Um. There is no rationalization to Ain't it nothing. to me. I'm not going to to dog anybody's faith or anything like mm -hmm. that. But in moments like this, especially when faith is things that people hold on to. And, and I, I love faith. I love the word faith. Mm -hmm. But I see my faith in a different direction. Vanessa and the, and the three uh, the girls that are going to have to deal with this, his three daughters, three sisters are going to have to find faith to know that life goes on. Yeah. yeah. And it's tough as time. Life does go on tomorrow. It's going to hit 12 o'clock twice. The sun's mm -hmm. going to come up and go down. And you're either going to move on or your time will come. But it's like you got to have to have faith that everything will be okay. Outside of that, you telling me that this is a part of God's will and no disrespect to you. I can't, yeah. But don't tell me that. Right. right. Because I don't want to be a part of a will that takes children in a plane crash for us all to see. Yeah, I just don't. Yeah, 
There's nothing enjoyable about that. You can't say that the person deserved that. It's just nothing that, you know, again, it, it's, it's hard. It's a hard pill, you know, to swallow. But, um, you know, it was funny, man. You know, even when we were younger, you know, definitely it felt it was totally different. Then. It was real scary now. But the older you get, you kind of embrace it to the fact where you know it's like, you know, it's just an inevitable part, you know, of it. And I know a lot of even people, you know, I can I could even embrace this part. Like some cultures of people um, don't even believe in the concept of death. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like it's a whole bunch of ways we can go with this. That's for another, you know, thing. But um, condolences, you know, um, to the family of Kobe Bryant, but Vanessa Bryant, and hopefully they can find faith and strength. You know what I mean to carry on. This won't be easy. We said it yesterday. We'll be talking about this for days to come. This won't be the last right. um, time we talk about it. Probably until Kobe Bryant, Gigi Bryant, the, the rest of us of um, the yeah. passing are buried to rest. This ain't gonna be an easy week, guys. We're gonna get through it. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of Kobe Bryant, you know, we talked yesterday about Allen Iverson, you know, penning a heartfelt letter to Kobe Bryant. And today, news broke according to ESPN and several other media outlets that Iverson had a